Millions watched as one of our favorite TV personalities, Mini Dlamini, tied the knot to businessman Quentin Jones in a glamorous ceremony. But just five years later, everything was over when the two filed for a divorce. So what happened? And what does Mini's life look like without Quentin? In this episode of The Lux Life, we will be exploring the glamorous life of Mini Dlamini. For most of us, planning a wedding can be a stressful experience, but imagine having a camera crew along for the ride. One of the reasons why Minnie and Quentin's wedding was so iconic was because we got to see the preparations, the doubts, the love. We felt like we were a part of the ceremony too. The bride-to-be sold exclusive rights to a white wedding to multi-choice for 6 million rand, and it was a good investment for the media giant as the three-part docuseries titled Mini Dlamini Becoming Mrs. Jones quickly became the highest rated show on the youth channel Vuzu M. The two quickly became a Mzansi power couple and in November 2020, Mini gave birth to their son Netu. I mean, how adorable is he? Unfortunately, the good times did not last, and in February 2022, the couple released a statement that they had filed for divorce. They said, Despite the end of our marriage and romantic relationship, we remain friends, business partners, and loving parents to our beautiful son. Social media was abuzz with rumors as to why the couple broke up. Some said that Minnie had an affair with South African businessman Edwin Sodi. Minnie vehemently denied these rumors, calling them false, damaging, and malicious. In an interview with Relebukhile Mabocha, Minnie said, I felt like I had to reduce myself in so many ways, and I wasn't able to live the best version of myself. And I feel like a marriage should never be something that clips your wings, but should be something that allows you to grow a second pair. Is that settling down supposed mm. to feel like a prison or is it supposed to be an extension and a growth? But who is Mini Dlamini and how did she become so famous? Let's backtrack a bit. Our girl was born Minentle Dlamini on 7 July 1990 in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal. She went on to study at Northlands Girls High School and majored in film, media and drama at the prestigious University of Cape Town. And glamour is in her blood as her mother, Queen Dlamini, is a former Miss South Africa finalist while her father, Jabulani, is a retired journalist. Tragedy struck the Dlamini family in 2019 when Mini's younger brother, Cosini, passed away. Cosini was a pilot who suffered a ruptured brain aneurysm and was on life support for 23 days. In 2021, on the second anniversary of his death, Mini wrote on Instagram, My Captain, the day you took your last flight is the day I died too. We all know you were born to fly, Captain K. We just didn't know it was in the kingdom of heaven. We miss you more than anyone can imagine and every day I wish it was me instead of you. And she has been very open about her journey with grief. Everything about Minnie seems as if she was destined for stardom. Like her mother, she started out on the pageant route. In 2010, the beauty queen won the title of Miss South Africa Teen and represented Mzansi at the Miss Teen World Pageant which was held in Houston, Texas, USA. We all know Minnie as being a staple on our screens but where did her TV presenting career start? Well, 2010 proved to be a fruitful year for me. Not only did she debut on SABC One's music show, Live, but she also had the opportunity to host the coverage of the FIFA World Cup. At only 20 years old, Minnie was one of the youngest hosts in the history of the World Cup. Her love for sport and entertainment followed her throughout her hosting career, as well as onto the host of Mzansi Insider until 2012. Soccer Zone with Thomas Mlambo, Our Perfect Wedding, Home Ground, as well as numerous awards. Sure, she's been busy. And that's not all. Minnie has also dabbled in a bit of acting. She guest starred in the popular soapy Generations as Miranda in 2010 and was later cast as the lead actor, Zintle Lebone, in The Wild and Nosipo Bohatsu in Rockville. And in 2023, she made a big screen debut in The Honeymoon, which tells the story of three friends who take a trip to Zanzibar after one of them is dumped the night before her wedding is the ultimate chick flick. I mean, this is a movie where you get your girls, you guys get together and go watch it. It is such good fun. Minnie is not just a star in front of the camera. She also opened her own company, Beautiful Day Productions, in 2017. Now Dlamini has focused on creating reality shows, docu-series, digital campaigns and advertisements. The star has not taken a position as a public figure lightly and has worked hard to use a platform for good. She has worked with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and has often spoken out about issues such as gender-based violence and education. In 2014, the TV personality founded the Mini Dlamini Foundation, which is focused on helping South African girls have access to quality education. And she definitely has a head for business. As of 2023, her estimated net worth is said to be $5 million, which is about 93 million rand. In September 2011, Minnie became the new face of the fashion store Legit, 
and had her own range, the mini series in stores. And then there was her brand, MD by Mini Glamini, which offered a range of beauty and skincare products. But in an interview with Tando Tabete, Mini admitted to her own naivety and failings in the business and why she had to close her skincare brand with my skincare range, and that's why I had to end it, was because you start to realize that things weren't being handled the way that... After Minnie and Quentin's divorce, there were rumors that she had been kicked out of their shared mansion. But Minnie quickly rebuked this by sharing pictures of her redecorating a home on social media. What a classy way to shut the haters up. Minnie's beautiful home is located in the leafy suburbs of Johannesburg, although she has not revealed its exact location. The large grey home is a double story with several balconies that just screams opulence. While she has not given us a full tour of the inside of the house, we have been able to scope out a few details from her Instagram posts. The large master bedroom has an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. Can you imagine how extensive Minnie's wardrobe is? Her room also has designer furniture such as a couch, as well as chandeliers and large mirrors. When it comes to the kitchen, Kitchen, of course, it is kitted out in only the top appliances with brands such as Smeg featured heavily. The open plan kitchen has marble and granite countertops with luxury bar stools. In her video with Morelli Rugs showcasing, it revealed more of the dining and sitting room areas of the home. The house has several seating areas and each has its own rug from the brand. Some rooms also feature African themes as we saw African drums and a teak center table. To add to the grandiose home is the high ceilings and stunning chandeliers. And not only did Minnie redecorate her home, but she also paid it forward and rebuilt her childhood home for her parents. In May 2023, the star posted on Instagram that she was building the house brick by brick, saying, I do it all for my family. Bought my mama a car, now it's time to give her her dream home and dad. LOL. We can't wait to see how it turns out. Minnie definitely has a taste for the finer things in life, and we can see that in the cars that she drives. The TV personality was appointed as a Jaguar brand ambassador in 2019, and let's get into what's in her garage. She owns a Jaguar I-Pace, which is an electric vehicle that is known for its style and impressive performance. The car retails for about 2 million rand. For the petrol heads who are interested in what's under the hood, it has a 90 kilowatt battery pack that can power it for up to 470 kilometers on a single charge as well as two electric motors. It can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers in only 4.8 seconds. I mean, it's getting fast in the furious. In addition to the supercar, Mini also drives around in a white Jaguar F-Pace, which she also got in 2019. This luxury SUV can cost between 1.5 million to 2 million rands. It combines comfort and technology into the ultimate consumer vehicle. It has a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that produces 247 horsepower and 269 lb-ft of torque. And it accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 8.2 seconds. With a new movie out, housing projects and being single again, Minnie seems like she's just getting started. We can't wait to see what she conquers next. What do you admire most about Mini Glamini? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this episode of The Lux Life. Join us again next time when we'll be looking at another who's who. Like and subscribe. See ya.